Follow the RMAC on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Just click on the links from the conference website at rmacsports.org. Now, back to the RMAC Radio Show. Welcome back to the RMAC Radio Show. Eric Danner with you. We're now talking men's basketball, and we're going to go straight to the RMAC hotline where the head coach of Regis University now joins us. His name is Lonnie Porter. Coach Porter, how's it going today? Uh, yeah, it's going good. It's going good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, Coach. Hey, uh, wanted to uh, to get you on early in the year. We usually talk to you here on the radio show. And, uh, boy, uh, we're already into conference play. It seems like uh, the season uh, just got started, which I guess it did. And, and uh, we're already into conference play here first weekend in December. Uh, you guys are sitting at 3-1 and one in your non-conference play. H- how do you feel about uh, getting the, uh, the, the, the big games uh, underway this weekend? <laughs> well, we already have so many new kids. I don't know if we're ready for the uh for the conference to start already. Uh with playing just just four, you know, non-conference games and we weren't able to get uh some um, some exhibition games put in thrown in there. We really wish we could have could have done that, but um uh, it is what it is and we have to get ready and have to get going. And uh the conference is going to be, you know, so tough, you know, as usual. And uh, we're just going to have to, you know, uh, buckle up and try to get ready for these guys. Talking with Lonnie Porter, the head men's basketball coach at Regis University. And, Coach, uh, you you played the four non-conference games, like you said. Uh, You played Langston, Sterling, Northern New Mexico, and the University of Sioux Falls. Uh, But looking at the stats, I I would imagine as a head coach, you got to be pretty happy with the way that scoring's going. you got five guys right now averaging in double figures all five starters and uh, you got to be able to like to have that uh, flexibility that uh, any given night you can have one of these guys uh, step up as your leading scorer well i i think so i think that uh you know on a given night that you know one of these guys can step up and really get the job done you know for us but uh, we're not very we're not very deep and i think that uh you know a lot of times in it, you have five guys you know averaging the double figures usually there's a red flag at this level a red flag will go up and says that um, they're you know playing quite a few minutes too many minutes and uh, that we're we're not very deep we have to have someone emerge and step up uh, from the bench to uh to be a force and to, to really help us because we can't uh, can't afford to play it's a long season it's a marathon we can't afford to play some of these guys as much as we're playing them Talking with Lonnie Porter, head men's basketball coach at Regis University. The Rangers open uh, their conference play at home this weekend, uh, taking on Western New Mexico on Friday at 5 p.m. start, and then the New Mexico Highlands uh, the following night at 5 p.m. Coach, a couple of uh, pretty salty opponents uh, to start off conference play. Mark Coleman, uh, now the athletic director, as well as the uh, head men's basketball coach, of Western New Mexico, always has a good team. And Joe Harge, uh, he, he's got to the point where it seems like Highlands, uh, they, they just uh, churn them out uh, every year as well. So so how do you prepare for these two teams? Well, Highlands just, uh, they, they reload. We'll start with Western New Mexico. Uh, they have the Riley kid that is just uh, dangerous, and he's playing well to play well over in Hawaii. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to Mark uh mark coleman coach coleman's agent to see if uh i can get a deal set up the way he does go to hawaii every year <laughs> that's a that's a great uh, uh conference schedule that he sets up uh, boy that uh that would be nice I'd like to get over there you know myself but they will be very tough they um they will you know spread you out and uh you know and play play um you know good defense play solid they'll do a good job uh highlands highlands all they do is just reload they just reload. They bring them in, you know, from a, from a, a lot of different places, and they will be they will be very good, you know, as usual, along with Western New Mexico. So it will be a, a very tough, a very tough weekend. Talking with Lonnie Porter, uh, now in his thirty fifth season as the head demands basketball coach at Re- Regis University, and coach that uh, number everybody always talks about, uh, not just the thirty five years, but the ninety five percent graduation rate to over those years and uh it seems like it's uh that you've been able to maintain that over over a period of time it wasn't like uh, we could drop down to 90 and then got back up you you maintain that 95 percent, and i i would imagine that has a lot to do with the, the kind of kids you recruit and and the kind of program you like to run 
Well, I think it's a testimony uh, to the kids and, uh, you know, to the university. Uh, they make every attempt uh, and every effort to make sure that our kids graduate. It's not just, just me and the kids. It's a, it's a tribute and a credit, you know, to the university. Talking with Lonnie Porter, head men's basketball coach at Regis University. And I know off the court, Coach, we've talked to you a little bit about this, uh, the Lonnie Porter Leadership Academy uh, that you started in 96. And and then Chauncey Billups uh, came on board. And it sounds like as we're doing the uh, show here, maybe Chauncey will be back in business here before too long. Now he's with the uh, New York Knicks. So tell me about your Leadership Academy and and what it's meant to uh, bring Chauncey on board there. Well, uh, you know, Chauncey has been a godsend. He's just worked uh, so very hard, you know, with the kids and helping them and making a lot of things possible, you know, for the kids. Uh, just like this uh, summer, we went to the uh, NASA JPL in Pasadena, uh, 40, uh, party of 40, flew out there on a turnaround thanks to Southwest Airlines, who has just been uh, a great, a tremendous corporate sponsor. They uh, flew us out there and came back. And uh, the kids had a chance to, to spend a lot of time with Chauncey and, uh, you know, went to uh, the Rose Bowl, went to, uh, you know, to the beach. First time some of the kids had ever seen the ocean or the sand. And uh, it was just awesome. And uh, just the educational experience at the JPL, uh, when you get a chance to see hands on the rover, uh, that will the next trip to Mars, the rover that is being built that will go there, and you see that, and it just gives you goosebumps. Just, just, just a tremendous, tremendous feeling. And Chauncey, like I said, has been a godsend. The time that he spends with the kids and everything that he does, you know, for the kids has just been tremendous. And I know that he is you know, happy to get back to work, you know, also. Saw him a few Sundays ago, and, uh, you know, he's ready to get back to work. Talking with Coach Lonnie Porter, uh, has 511 career victories at Regis University, uh, picking up that 500 of the bead. That was, that was last year, right, Coach? And uh, uh, I, you, you don't, I don't know. How to keep track of that stuff? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how <laughs> I mean, it is. I know that in the last eight, eight or nine years hasn't been very many of them. <laughs> so, you know, we're trying to get to work on that. Well, once again, Regis will be playing Western New Mexico and New Mexico Highlands this upcoming weekend. And Coach, we want to thank you for taking some time out for us. Oh, you're welcome, Eric. Thank you for having me. All right. That is Lonnie Porter. Uh, also was a tremendous basketball player at Adams State College. He's in the Armac Hall of Fame. Uh, we inducted him a few years back. He emceed uh, our centennial celebration, uh, did a great job there as well. And as you can tell, uh, just a, a very, very uh, interesting guy to talk to. And uh, 35 years, he has uh, done a tremendous job for that university. And that 95% graduation rate is always uh, uh, something uh, we're very proud of here in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference as well. Uh, going over the standings real quickly, uh, Metro State and Colorado Mines and Adam State have both started, all three of them have started off great. And those were the three teams picked uh, at the top of the conference by the preseason uh, coaches poll. Metro at 5-0, and Mines at 4-0, and Adams at 3-0. and CSU Pueblo and Regis both at 3-1. and Kearney is at 2-1, and then it's Colorado Mesa, Fort Lewis, and Western State starting off at 2-2. Two two. New Mexico Highlands at 1-2. and two. UCCS at 1-5, and five, and then it's CCU, Western New Mexico, and Shadron State uh, all looking for their first wins. And for what's happening in Armac men's basketball this weekend, let's head over to Chris Polton at the Armac Sports Desk. Thanks, Eric. Three teams come into the opening weekend of conference action with undefeated records, including Metro State at 4-0. The Roadrunners host the always fun to watch New Mexico Highlands Cowboys on Friday night and Western New Mexico on Saturday. Both games are at 7 p.m. at the Auraria Event Center. Colorado Mines is also coming in undefeated with a 3-0 record. The Ordiggers make the short trip from Golden to Lakewood to take on the new look Colorado Christian Cougars with first-year coach Kevin Lovers. Game time is 7 p.m. at the Cougar Event Center. Adams State is the other unbeaten team, and they get get to host a couple of games at Plackey Hall this weekend. CSU Pueblo is first on the docket Friday. Then UCCS comes in on Saturday night. Both games are 8 p.m. starts in Alamosa. Coach Lonnie Porter looks to build on his 500-plus career wins as head basketball coach at Regis. The Rangers host Highlands 
and Western New Mexico this weekend. Game times are at 5 p.m. in the Regis Fieldhouse. Colorado Mesa stays home in Grand Junction. Nebraska Kearney and Chandler State come into Bronson Arena on consecutive days. Tip-off is scheduled for 8 p.m. Fort Lewis is at the friendly confines of Wayland Gymnasium this weekend with UCCS and CSUP in town. New Thunderwolves coach Ralph Turner has Pueblo coming into the weekend at 3-1. Both games in Durango and both start at 8 p.m. Western State is hoping for their first victories of the season as Carney and Chatteron come into Gunnison this weekend. Games on Friday and Saturday night scheduled at 8 p.m. You can watch all the games on the America One Network. Just click on the link from the RMAC website at rmacsports.org. I'm Chris Poulton, and that is your RMAC men's basketball update. Thank you, Chris. Once again, we want to thank our guests today. We just had Lonnie Porter, the head men's basketball coach at Regis. We had Caitlin Petrie, the uh, Shadron State basketball player. And we had Ryan Owens from the Durango Herald. And we want to thank you for listening to the RMAC Radio Show. Stop.